Cornwall Nursery and Landscape Company is a family-owned garden supply store and nursery. They began in 1989 in a small building and have grown into a full-service garden center with an 11,000 square foot showcase and 15 acres full of beautiful plants. As the nursery's products and services have grown, so have the needs for additional employees. Currently, Udall Nursery's process of hiring new employees involves going through a temp agency with the prospective employee working through a probationary 90-day period, and then a decision is made regarding a permanent position. The option exists for the nursery to terminate Henry at any time during the 90 days. 45 days into Henry's trial period, Manager Michael has a meeting scheduled to discuss his performance to date. Come grow with us. Henry is a new cashier brought to Udall Nursery through a temp agency for a 90-day probationary period. Henry is exceptional with dealing with customers, but can spend too much time with individual customers which can hold up the register. He has no experience working in a nursery or any other botanical business and often has difficulty answering questions and identifying specific plants. On multiple occasions, Henry has rung up items incorrectly by either entering the wrong item or entering the wrong promotion or discount code. Henry enjoys the social aspects of his new job, but is struggling to identify all of the plants in addition to learning the point-of-sale system the store uses. Michael is the retail manager for Udawa Nursery and has been with the company for 11 years. He is the son-in-law of the owners, which is normally in the back of his mind when he deals with his subordinates. Michael has noticed Henry's issues with the plants and point-of-sale system, as well as his friendly attitude with dealing with customers, especially his extended discussions with them. Michael has a meeting with Henry scheduled to discuss his performance to date and areas for improvement. Hey, new guy, come back to my office. Hank, come on. Hank? Yeah, it's Henry, actually. Uh, yeah, have a seat. All right, Henry, we are going to talk. Uh, this is your 45 day checkup. Right. You know, everybody gets here 90 days, probationary period. You get like a checkup about halfway through. Okay, you know that, right? Yes, sir. Cool. Let's talk. Uh, let's talk about the stuff. You're kind of, you're, you're not my model employee. Okay? And I kind of I kind of, I kind of need the best of the best. All right, let me tell you where we're, hit, we're messing up. Uh, you're not you're not getting the people out fast enough. You're messing up with the register, and honestly, I, I need you to I need you to understand which plants are which plants. Okay, and you're costing money. All right, basically you're screwing up all over the place. Okay, what? you're being you. One second, you're being a chatty Kathy. Okay, I need you to be more Kathy and less chatty. I really don't understand. Okay. Uh, anyway, so we'll get back to that. Okay, um, if you if you I know you're smart enough, you can understand how to look up. On Google, what plants are what plants? I mean, you went to college, right? Yes. Don't you have a degree in art or something like that? Yes. Honestly, if you really wanted to use your art degree, you'd be like at Starbucks something, slinging barista type crap. But you know, you want to be here at the at the nursery doing plants and stuff like that, and it's great. I want you to be here, okay? Uh, but you need but you need to be doing the right things. You're not doing anything right, okay? So. I. One second. I feel like I just hey, need. At, hilarious okay. you know and you know what you went to Sonic the other day and you know what you asked Glenda hey Glenda do you want anything from Sonic while I'm going I overheard that and I was the only one here I like Sonic I like slushies why don't you ask me for something I, I didn't know that you wanted anything you know what let's just go back to the you can't do anything right stuff because you just can't you're not doing anything right right now and if you can't get it right uh, the boss wants me to let you go, and you know my father-in-law. He his words law around here. All right. I want to work here. Like I said, I just need. All right. To so help. if you want to work here, let's get it right. Uh, get the register right. Get the plants right. Uh, go faster. Okay. We'll talk in ninety days. We'll talk in ninety days, and we'll see if you're still a good fit here. Okay. All right. Let's uh get back out on the floor. All right. 
Okay. Sling some flowers. Still don't know anything about flowers. Henry needed to be coached because he is a new employee and said he has never worked at a nursery before and was having trouble identifying plants at the register. Michael failed to coach by not offering any advice or direction and Henry still does not have the skills necessary to be successful. This is evident as Henry says as he leaves the office, I still don't know anything about flowers. Still don't know anything about flowers. Michael's words do not match his actions. His body language was dismissive and he interrupted Henry to respond to a text message. So, I, one sec. I feel like I just hey. need... Uh. When Michael said, you're screwing up all over the place, he failed to label the problem descriptively. And as a result, Henry still does not know what he did wrong and leaves the meeting disconfirmed. All right, basically screwing up all over the place. Okay. Instead of describing the problem, Michael attacks Henry's personality by calling him a chatty Cathy, causing Henry to feel criticized. You're being you. One second. You're being a chatty Cathy. Okay. That needs to be more Cathy and less chatty. I really. Michael invalidated Henry by mocking his choice of college major by saying, if you wanted to use your art degree, you'd be at Starbucks slinging coffee. Yes. Then you have a degree in art or something like that? Yes. Honestly, if you really wanted to use your art degree, you'd be like at Starbucks something slinging barista type crap. When Michael said, you're messing up at the register, he failed to specifically describe the problems with Henry's job performance. You're messing up at the register. Unrelated to anything in the conversation, Michael brought up Henry's previous visit to Sonic. And you know what? You went to Sonic the other day? And you know what? You asked Glenda, hey, Glenda, do you want anything from Sonic while I'm going? I overheard that. And I was the only one here. I like Sonic. I like slushies. Why don't you ask me for something? Instead of Michael owning his statement, he blames the owner for threatening to fire Henry as he says, if you can't get it right, the boss wants me to let you go. If you can't get it right, uh, the boss wants to let you go. And, you know, my father-in-law, his word's law around here, all right? Instead of Michael listening to what Henry has to say and advising him on how to do his job better, he instructs him to get the register right, get the plants right, and go faster. I want to work here, let's get it right. Uh, get the register right, get the plants right, uh, go faster. Okay, we'll talk in 90 days. Michael fails to set up weekly PMIs with Henry and instead tells him they will talk again once his probationary period ends. This means Henry will not have the opportunity for any more communication with management. We'll talk in 90 days. Hey, Henry. How are you, sir? Doing good? Think you're on a ride so far? Good so far, thank you. Good, good. Um, we need to chit chat. You know, I'm gonna just touch base with you. Um, you got a couple minutes we can talk? Absolutely. All right. Hey, uh, Holly. Yes. You have a couple minutes to cover your first Sure, five minutes. All right, okay. Five minutes to come talk. Yes, sir. Henry, how you doing, buddy? Good, how are you, sir? Doing pretty good. Have a seat, relax. All right. Give me just one second. Sheila, this is Michael upstairs. Do me a favor, make sure I have no phone calls and uh, nobody comes up and bothers me. I have uh, Henry in the office. We're going to have a quick conversation. It should take about 15 minutes and uh, thank you so much. All right. Henry, how are you liking it here so far? Great. It's been a lot of fun so far. It's a very nice nursery, obviously. Good. Good uh, I really enjoy talking to the people. Met a lot of cool people up there. I like the plants. Um, Honestly, I feel like I'm confused sometimes up there, though, when I'm not just talking to people, because I do enjoy talking to the people, but I feel like sometimes I have issues ringing in plants, and it might be because I don't know which plant is which sometimes. Okay. All right. Well, you know this meeting is about your 45-day uh, performance yes, sir. evaluation. Yes, sir. Uh, halfway through your first 90 days, 45 days, we like to sit down with you and uh, do a performance evaluation. I'm going to talk to you about some of the things I've seen so far and some of the notes I have, and uh, we're going to uh, see some, uh, some some ways that we can fix it and help you out. 
Uh, the first thing is, like you said, the uh, cashier, uh, cash register. Have you ever worked with cash register before? Not really. Okay. Um, I need to help you with that. We need to find a way to fix that because uh, we're getting some things that are uh, rung up wrong, and that that uh, that affects us a lot. And you said you have problems identifying the plants. I think so. Okay. Uh, that actually is a big enough issue that I uh, I wrote down on twice and uh, recently. You uh, rang up four azaleas, and azaleas are five dollars a piece. And they were on sale last week. And they were for five dollars. Uh, problem was that the ones you rang up were actually hydrangeas. And they were supposed to be fifteen dollars a piece. And if you do the math up to four, that's uh, sixty dollars uh, for sale, which is great. But you charged them twenty because you uh, rang them up as, a, as the uh, wrong item. So uh, this is an issue that um, that if it continues, I can't tolerate, and I'm gonna have to let you go. Um, these, these, this is the problem we can't, can't have. Um, you're a very intelligent guy. Uh, the, one of the reasons I really liked you is that you're intelligent. Uh, you have a degree. Um, remind me again. It was the art degree. Music, art, art degree. All right. So you're a, you're a kind of a visual thinker, and uh, that's good. Uh, I mean, I can find some ways that I can help you learn uh, the plants. Uh, main, namely, we can print out some of the pictures of the plants, the, the main plants that we sell here. Uh, description of what they are and how to take care of them and, um, and another way that I like to uh, when I was uh, downstairs uh, selling plants and slinging them out the door uh, I, I, I learned how to use the labeling system on the bottom on the side of the pots and I can put in instructions on how to do that as well. That would make you. sense yeah that would help yeah, a lot. Um, just anything to get you get you uh, get you more up to speed on how to do things the right way. Absolutely. Well great um, now the cash register, uh, I really like to focus on that with uh, Holly. She's our lead cashier. She okay. knows the best way to get the uh, cash register running. She knows how to do it the best. So I'm gonna have you uh, scheduled with her for the next uh, couple of weeks until you meet your 90 days. Uh, working with her, she'll be a great source of uh, information for you. And if you have a need, she's right there. Okay. Um, now, when you said you're having um, a good time talking to people, I remember you said that. Absolutely. I would like to come back to that. Um, you are having a good time talking to people, and I, I came down earlier and I noticed that um, you're talking to the customers a little bit too long. Okay. Each customer should get uh, should get a feeling and a sense that they're uh, they're low, that they're very valued here, and and you give that to them. I need it to shrink it down so that you can get the line moving a little faster. Okay. And uh, I know from experience that 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 comes with uh, with time. You you learn how to handle that a little better, but just Keep that on the front of your mind that you need to handle that a little better. Absolutely. Shorten the conversation. That makes sense. Okay, good. Uh, the last thing is, uh, I think we need to come back to this uh, table maybe uh, once a week, see how you're doing uh, for the next couple of weeks, and um, see how you're doing. Sound good? That sounds great. All right. Um, I'm going to get those pictures and the descriptions to you um, tomorrow. And uh, Holly and I are going to talk this afternoon, and we'll get your schedule kind of tweaked a little bit and get you on the same schedule with her. And, uh, you and I will have this conversation next Thursday. Sound good? Sounds great. All right. I need you to get out there and sell some plants. All right? Absolutely. Get out of here, buddy. Thank you. No problem. Have a good one. Michael coaches Henry because Henry has no previous experience for his position. Michael says, I can find some ways to help you learn. Sure. And uh, that's good. Uh, I mean, I can find some ways that I can help you learn uh, the plants. Uh, main, namely, we can print out some of the pictures of the plants, the, the main plants that we sell here, uh, description of what they are and how to take care of them. And, uh, Michael proves to Henry that the topic is important to him by asking for no interruptions and uses body language that shows he is concerned but also willing to help. Sheila, this is Michael upstairs. Do me a favor, make sure I have no phone calls and uh, Nobody comes up and bothers me. I have uh, Henry in the office. We're going to have a quick conversation. It should take about 15 minutes, and uh, thank you so much. Michael is thorough in describing the problem, making sure Henry understands specifically what he is doing wrong. The problem was that the ones you rang up were actually hydrangeas. Rather than attacking a personality trait of Henry, Michael explains the problem by telling him, you are talking to customers too long. Uh, I came down earlier, and I noticed that... Um, you're talking to the customers a little bit too long. Okay. Each Michael validated Henry by making him feel competent and accomplished when he said, you're intelligent, you have a degree. You're a very intelligent guy. Uh, the, one of the reasons I really liked you is that you're intelligent. Uh, you have a degree. Um, Michael was specific in explaining how Henry's mistake hurt the company. 
And uh, recently, you uh, rang up four azaleas. And azaleas are $5 a piece, and they were on sale last week, and they were for $5. The uh, problem was that the ones you rang up were actually hydrangeas. And they were supposed to be $15 a piece. And if you do the math up to four, that's uh, $60 uh, for sale, which is great, but you charge them 20 because you uh, rang them up as, uh, as the uh, wrong item. Staying on topic, Michael brought up something that Henry had previously mentioned. Like you said, the uh, cashier, uh, cash register, have you ever worked with cash register before? Not really. Okay. Um, I need to help you with that. But we need to find a way to fix that because... Michael took responsibility for possibly having to fire Henry instead of attributing it to the boss. When he said, I'm going to have to let you go. That if it continues, I can't tolerate, and I'm going to have to let you go. Um, these, these, this is the problem when we can't. Can Michael responds to Henry's plea for help by advising and discussing ways to help him learn by printing out instructions. We can print out some of the pictures of the plants, the, the main plants that we sell here, a uh, description of what they are and how to take care of them. And, um, at the conclusion of the meeting, Michael scheduled weekly PMIs with Henry to ensure open communication and consistent feedback on performance. These meetings will have a positive effect on employee stress, job satisfaction, and performance. I think we need to come back to this uh, table maybe uh, once a week, see how you're doing uh, for the next couple of weeks, and um, see how you're doing. Sound good? That sounds great. All right. Um, I'm going to get those pictures and the descriptions to you um, tomorrow. The manager was played by Michael Lehman. Cashier Henry was played by Michael Henry. Customer number two was played by Jason Harrod. Customer one and three was played by Joe Noblet and his wife, Jesse Noblet. Lead cashier Holly was played by Holly Whitener. Recording and editing was done by Jason Rolrex.